Hey everyone, it is Pat from Bats of Music and today we're learning about different types of amps that you can get. Now, we're going to start at the very sort of basic and some beginner different amps. We're going to go up into some more expensive sort of valve custom made tube amps. We're going to be looking at different um, hardware interfaces like this 11 rack over here might be just out of frame and we'll also be looking at different software amps that you can download as well so we're going to be checking them all out today we're going to hear the pros and cons of each one of them the benefits and um, what they sound like it's going to be a lot of fun let's uh, let's get started now this is the first little amp that we're looking at today but you may look at the brand and you may think line six Ugh, I haven't heard great things about them in terms of you know practice amps but I would say that they are extremely versatile and uh, they're, they're great value for money. Now what's good about this little box is it does have on the side here, if you can see, it has a little strap uh, button. So you can actually put like a guitar strap over it and so you can actually, you know, have it onto your side there and you'd be playing guitar and you can actually do like little acoustic gigs or you could be maybe busking or something like that. Now if you're thinking about, well how is it going to be powered, at the back there you open the back plate up and then there's all different, um, you know, you put in, I think there were size D batteries and you put in six of those and then you can actually power it so it can be a portable device as well, which is great. Now at the top here, we've got, if we look at the front, we've got these different channels. Now we've got uh, clean, crunch, metal and insane. Insane is so much distortion. We will, we'll check them out very briefly, but Insane is so much distortion, way more than what you'd ever need. But again, it's, it's fun. It's fun to check these things out. So you click those different buttons and you instantly get you know, a preset that's already sort of stored and designed by the people who made this. Now, if you do push those two buttons, crunch and metal at the same time, you get acoustic. And it's great if you do have an acoustic to plug into the top, which we'll look at in a second, or it's just great getting more of a, a cleaner, sort of slightly thinner vibe from your electric guitar, which is good for sort of acoustic styled uh, strumming in the background. Now at the top there, which is a little bit hard to see, you've got a built-in tuner, which is great, so you don't need to carry around another tuner. You've got an input um, for if you're, if you're playing along with a CD or an MP3 or like songs off your, your phone, you can plug that in, it can come out the speaker as well. You've also got a mic trim, so you can put a mic in, so you can do you know, so some singing along with yourself as well. Uh, you can even do, you know, if you were uh, putting a mic in front of acoustic, you could then do the acoustic through that. It has built-in effects as well. You've got chorus, flange, phaser, tremolo, and then you've also got different types of reverb and echoes and delays. So all of that in one little device, we'll see how it sounds now, but the, the idea is that it's so versatile and you can actually try out different sounds and you can think, oh, I like delay more than I like reverb or, you know, I prefer um, like a crunch style of distortion rather than a metal style. All of those sort of things. You can actually learn what flange and what chorus and what phaser and the tremolo actually mean. So it's, it's a brilliant idea to get something like this because it's all contained in one unit and then when you do sort of move up into more of a conventional amp, a bigger sort of amp, it's great because you'll know, you know, the different sounds that you're looking for and maybe you want to buy some effects as well or those sorts of things. So let's hear what it sounds like. We're going to be checking out software based amps. So we're going to be checking out BIOS. So the BIOS is a great program that it can run by itself standalone, I'm pretty sure, or you use it within programs like Logic Pro or Pro Tools, or I think even within GarageBand these days. And basically it's everything all rolled into one. So all of your amps, and I think you can also buy effects to have your effects as well. And they're all software based. So let's check out that. And that runs on your computer. Let's see here what that sounds. Thank you. 
We've taken a huge leap in terms of aesthetics, uh, tone, price, all of those things from this first amp that we we're looking at, the little Line 6. Now this is a solid state amp. That means there's no glowing warm tubes. It's just all sort of, you know, PCB boards and, and computer controlled. But with the this amp here, the MI Audio Iron Duke, it's a massive uh, 50 watt, you could say Marshall style head, but then it's four channels and each of the channels is fantastic. You've essentially got a clean channel, uh, which will never give you any breakup. So you can hit this with, you know, as hard as you can in the front end and you're never gonna get any breakup. You've got then a blues channel, which is designed to give you more of that bluesy breakup tone. You've got a crunch channel and then you've got a metal channel as well. So all of those channels with the one amp, it's awesome. But this was, you know, uh, one of their normal amps, but I had the, I really wanted the white color which wasn't a standard thing, so I had them do it in white. Uh, and then I also wanted some heftier transformers for just a better sort of top end clarity and more power controlled as well. Uh, but then the other thing is you get different boost switches. You can really fine tune the attack and fine tune the different voices of both channels or four channels. It's fantastic amp, but this is just the head. So what that means is if you just were to buy the head, you wouldn't be hearing anything. You need to buy something like this, the speaker cab. So there's two speakers in here as well. There are 12 inches. They're about, you know, sort of 12 inch speakers. I'll just put up a picture so it would make a bit more sense. Uh, but again, great sounds, but that is going to the very, very high end. But you don't have to spend that much money for that sort of a rig. You can get a little, I remember one of my favorite, actually my first tube amp was a Fender Blues Junior fantastic tones. You really do have to crank them a little bit to get the best tones, but man, they're so good. Great value for money. Highly recommend a Blues Junior. But that's, this is some valves. So there's some tubes or some valves in there. They're cooking they're like little glass tubes and they give the sound overall more of a natural, more of a warmer, more of an organic tone, but that's just to me. But really solid state amps are getting so good these days. With some amps, it's really, really hard to tell. And that really brings us to one of the biggest things. Tube amps, solid state amps, which is better? Don't even get into that. Really, really try hard not to have a, an opinion that's too strong in your head. Always go into a shop open-minded. Because one of the best cleans I've ever heard was a Roland uh, Jazz, I believe it was called. Uh, and it was solid state. It was a type of Roland that was solid state. And I was blown away and I couldn't believe it. And for so many years, I'd been one of those, um, you know, cork sniffing tubes or, or I don't want, want to play sort of guys. but. Definitely go in there open-minded. You can get some great sounds, whether it's tubes or whether it's solid state. Let's check out this beast now. Thought I'd just add in this little bit. If you are just starting out with electric guitar, you're wondering about your first amp, or you've got an acoustic guitar, you're about to buy an electric guitar. If you love technology, you don't mind buying a little USB interface that you can then plug your guitar into, like the 11 rack that we spoke about before. 
Getting Bias is a great option and it's certainly very cheap and has a, a wide array of different amps and you can even get effects as well. That's a great option. If you have a little bit more money and you want to get something external but not too loud, something that has a built-in tuner, different effects, you can run it on batteries, it has a guitar strap holder so you can gig outside, getting something like a Spider or a little Vox with built-in effects is a great option as well. If you're starting to gig, uh, you want something professional that you can record in the studio with, you don't mind volumes being a little bit louder at home, getting something like the big wide amp, you know, something like it with a head and a cab is also a great option, or if you're in between that blues tuner that we spoke about before. At the end of the day, the perfect amp for you is work out what you're gonna use it for and how much you wanna spend. There's no point getting a 100 watt massive stadium rocking amp if you're just a beginner and you're not gonna play at that volume. If you are, you know, you've been playing for a few years and you're gigging in a band, you're recording already, by all means it makes more of a logical idea to get something like that. But if you're just starting out and you can't be too loud at home, getting one of the practice amps is always a great way to go. But what do you guys think? Is there something that you've got that you really love? Is there a new amp that you wanna get? Do you have any questions about amps that you, you're thinking of buying to begin with? I myself personally, I'm so excited. I'm saving up for the Fractal Audio the AX8, and what that is, is it's sort of like the 11 rack here, where it's a unit, and it's got all of your amps and your effects built in one, but it's in a little pedal board, so it's so good. You can just take it to a gig, put it on the, the stage, plug it into the PA, and away you go. You don't need a massive amp rig behind you. Um, you, know, you don't need to worry about all different USB devices. You've just got that little box. Fantastic idea. So that's the next amp I'm gonna get. You heard it here first, I guess. <laughs> what's something that you're interested in and what's your favorite rig that you're playing through at the moment. Definitely let me know if you want to learn more theory, head over to this playlist here. If you want to check out another guitar lesson, check out this video here. And if you are having any trouble, definitely send me a message over there at my Facebook channel. I do get back to you guys daily. Otherwise, I've been Pat from Pat Dev Music. See you all again.